Let's cook around the world! And today's recipe comes from Indonesia and it is chicken satay with peanut sauce. There are many different versions of satay around the world but did you know it was originally created on the island of Java? And it quickly spread not just in Indonesia but also across other Southeast Asian countries including Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand and the Philippines. And obviously each country created their own version by adding their unique twist to the recipe. Today I'm going to teach you how to cook the authentic Indonesian chicken satay or as it's locally known, satay ayam. So let's get cooking. And as always, a full list of all the ingredients and quantities are available at the end of this video. We're going to start off by making the marinade. So into the food processor add some shallots, garlic, a red chilli, the dry herbs and spices, peanuts, sweet soy sauce, tamarind sauce, palm sugar, brown sugar is a good alternative. Blend everything into a fine paste. The traditional way of making a marinade is to use a granite stone and grinding all ingredients into a smooth paste. Now there are advantages for doing it this way but for convenience and the fact I don't have the energy I'm going to use a food processor instead but you go right ahead if you want a good workout for the next half hour. You will then end up with a thick sticky paste. Into your pan add some coconut oil and allow to melt. Next add the paste. and a dash of water. Give it a good stir and heat it through. Add the lime leaves and the fresh lemongrass. Use the soft white parts only. Give it a bash with something heavy to allow the flavours to easily disperse and then cut into three. All ingredients can be sourced from your local Asian supermarket. However, I've added some links in the description below if you're having trouble finding any of them. Simmer for about 5 minutes, stirring frequently to stop it sticking to the bottom. Cook until it's a thick paste. And when it looks something like this, remove it from the heat and allow to cool to room temperature. Once cooled, add the mixture to the chicken. I'm using chicken thighs cut into bite-sized chunks as I find them more flavourful, tender and tastier than chicken breasts. Once all the pieces are thoroughly coated, cover the bowl with cling film and refrigerate for a minimum of 3 hours or overnight if you have the time. Next we're going to make the peanut dipping sauce, but before we do, we're going to soak the bamboo sticks in water for a minimum of 2 hours to stop them burning on the grill. So now to the dipping sauce. Into the blender, add the garlic, Galangal, use ginger as a substitute if you can't get hold of any. Shallots or a small onion. Palm sugar. Half a can of coconut milk. Pepper and salt to taste. Blend until everything is smooth. Into a heated pan add the remainder of the coconut milk and bring up to temperature. Add the chilies, the lemongrass and as before bruise and cut into three. Now add the blended mixture, the peanut butter. Try to use an organic brand if you can. The commercial brands tend to have far too much salt and sugar. However if you do use one of these brands then adjust the salt and sugar accordingly. After about five minutes on a medium heat your sauce will thicken and darken. And once you start to see the oil separate and start floating on the top, your sauce is ready. Remove the lemongrass and set aside until it's ready to serve. In the meantime, we're going to grill the chicken pieces. Remove the marinated chicken from the fridge. Thread four or five pieces onto each bamboo skewer. And if you find a piece is too long, then simply thread it twice to stop it dangling. Once the secure is full, 
Place it into a plate until it's ready to grill. Repeat the process until all the chicken is threaded. We're going to set this to one side just for a couple of minutes to allow the chicken to come up to room temperature. During this time we're going to make the achar salad. Into a bowl add the chopped shallots, diced cucumbers which have been de-seeded, carrots and peppers. Next add the rind and juice of a lime mixed with vinegar and a diced chili. Give everything a good mix. Cover and set to one side until ready to serve. To cook the chicken add the secures to a grill or you could bake them in an oven. 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 6 for 40 minutes. If you are going to grill your chicken then make sure you turn them every couple of minutes to ensure it all cooks evenly and doesn't become too dry. To serve add two or three skewers to a plate along with the dipping sauce and the fresh ajar salad. And now for the moment I've been waiting for, the taste test. Such explosion of flavours. You get the sweetness from the coconut milk the sour from the tamarind juice, the bitter from the lime, and the spice from the chilies, and that unique umami flavour. And the achar salad refreshingly cuts through the richness of the satay. Delicious! Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and hit the bell so you never miss any new uploaded videos. Leave me a comment to let me know how you got on, as well as if you have any requests for any future videos. And as my friends say in Indonesia, Selamat Makan! <laughs>